In this video, I'll show you what five exercises you must be doing as a man, why they're fundamental to your goals, and how to perform each exercise efficiently to make them as effective as possible. The reason why every man should be doing these is thanks to the massive benefits that they have on testosterone, functionality, flexibility, athletic performance, and even your libido also really quick towards the end of the video. Let's get started. Number 1. Squats From average people to athletes, everyone can benefit from doing squats regularly. In fact, the squatting motion can be observed in numerous exercises. Squats offer benefits like stronger lower body-toned legs and butts, better metabolism and improved posture and when performed with weights. The effects on the body become even more explosive. Body weight squats are great when you're just starting to build your strength and flexibility, but over time they'll become too easy, and that's when weighted squats should take over. How to do body weight squats, step one stand with your feet shoulder width and toes slightly turned outward. Step two, tightening up your core. Start shifting your weight back into your heels while pushing your hips behind you as you squat down. Step three, lower yourself until your thighs are almost parallel to the floor. Step four, ensure your feet remain flat on the ground while your knees remain over your toes. Step five, with a neutral spine and your chest out, Push through your heel to return to the start position while keeping your core tight. The deeper, the better maintain your form, but take note that a deeper squat means booty gains as it requires more glute activation. How to do barbell squats. Step 1. Start with your feet shoulder width apart and firmly grips the bar. Step 2. Rest the bar on your upper back and below your neck. Step 3. Keeps your chest puffed out and your feet slightly turned out around 40 degrees. Step 4. Taking a deep breath, retract your shoulder blades and brace your core. Step 5. Lower yourself until your hips are just below your knees, all the while keeping your heels glued to the ground. Step 6. Towards the top end of the squat, your quads have to work harder, so power up on the ascent from your midfoot to heel while exhaling. Step 7 ensures your spine remains neutral throughout and avoid bending or curving your back. Step 8. From there, you can either RCK or repeat squats are truly legendary, but if there's one exercise that can give squats a run for their money, it would be deadlifts. Number 2. Deadlifts. Deadlifts have so many incredible benefits that they deserve a permanent place in all strength training regimens, improved resting metabolic rate, greater muscle mass, and decreased lower back pain are all profound effects of deadlifting regularly. What's more, researchers have found that long-term strength training with deadlifts and squats helps increase bone density in younger populations. The deadlift targets multiple joints and muscle groups, it's a straightforward exercise that's highly effective at enhancing your strength and overall fitness condition. How to do deadlifts. Step 1 with an overhand grip, the bar just outside the line of your knees. Step 2. Place your feet shoulder width apart with your toes under the bar and your feet either pointing straight ahead or slightly angled out. Step 3. As you lift and lower, the bar will travel close to your shins and may even graze them during those motions. Keep your spine in a neutral position. Step 4. Engage your abdominal muscles. Step 5. Slowly bring the bar down as far as you can while keeping your form intact and your back flat and softening your knees. Step 6. Lift by pushing upward. With your legs from your knees, don't raise your hips first, so the trunk moves forward and the back becomes rounded. Step 7. The bar should almost graze your shins and rest around your thighs as you come to a full height. Step 8. Pull your shoulders back as much as possible without being backward. Step 9. Lower the weight towards the floor with a RSE motion while keeping your back straight. Repeat, you know you're doing it right when you feel a stretch in the back of your thighs as you lower your back. Similarly, you should feel the tension in the back of your thighs and glutes as you rise. Deadlifts are a beast for gaining strength. However, it misses a few muscle groups, 
with the overhead press, the upper body pushes muscles missed by the deadlift that are all targeted. I'll expand on this in a while. Number three, bench press. The bench press is one of those exercises in a gym starter pack. It doesn't just appeal to bodybuilders, but to every average man. Many gym goers see it as a benchmark for a person's upper body strength, true enough. The bench press is highly effective for building strength, specifically in this these and these areas of the body, when performed regularly as part of an upper body workout. Bench presses also increase muscle hypertrophy in your chest, shoulders, and arms. How to do a bench press? Step 1. Lie flat on your back with a neutral spine and feet flat on the floor. Step 2. Draw your shoulder blades back behind you to keep from pressing with rounded shoulders. Step 3. Now grasp the barbell using an overhand grip, placing your thumbs on the outside of your closed fist. Step 4. Position your arms slightly wider than shoulder width apart and remove the barbell from the rack, locking your elbows. Step 5. Breathe while lowering the bar until it touches your middle chest. Step 6. Pause briefly and exhale as you press the bar above your chest, extending your arms. Step 7. Lower the bar so it is just above your chest. This is the starting position for the next bench press. Bench presses are primarily focused on targeting your chest muscles, as for working your biceps, and lats pull-ups are a perfect choice. Number 4. Pull-ups. The pull-up is a hardcore upper body exercise. It's excellent at enhancing your physique and boosting your overall fitness. Moreover, Studies suggests that adults experience 3 to 8% muscle mass loss per decade after they hit the age of 30 resistance exercises. Such as pull-ups can help counter that pull-ups are quite challenging and can be tricky to master specifically for those who are new at strength training. Since you're lifting your entire body using only your arms and shoulders, but don't be disheartened with proper form and techniques, you can do it. How to do pull-ups Step 1. Start by standing below a pull-up bar with your feet shoulder-width apart. Reach the bar using an overhand grip. With your hands slightly further than shoulder-width apart, you may need to jump to grab the bar depending on how high it is. Step 2. Once you're holding onto the bar, you're in the starting position. Step 3. Inhale, then exhale. Lift your feet from the floor until you're hanging from the bar while pulling your belly button toward your spine to keep your core engaged. Step 4. Pull your shoulders back and down. Step 5. Engaging the muscles in your arms and back bend your elbows and lift yourself towards the bar until your chin is over the bar. Allow your elbows to move down as your body lifts. Step 6. As you move, avoid swinging your legs around or shrugging your shoulders up. Make sure your shoulder blades remain back and down throughout the exercise. Step 7. Inhale at the top of the movement. Step 8. Now extend your elbows and lower your body back down to the starting position. Step 9. Repeat the movement without touching the floor. By the way, Besides adding these exercises to your program, it's also important to avoid making these critical mistakes, but more on that later on. Number 5. Overhead Press, also referred to as the Shoulder Press. This exercise is primarily designed to build the deltoids. It's a great exercise for boosting upper body strength by pushing a weight directly above the head, effectively activating both the delts and the triceps. However, it's important to note that since the overhead press is an advanced movement, it requires a certain shoulder mobility or range of movement. To safely perform it to determine this, keep your entire body still and slowly raise your two arms overhead. If you can get your arms in line with your ears, then you meet the necessary shoulder mobility to do the exercise safely. How to do an overhead press Step 1. Walk up to the bar and grasp it slightly wider than shoulder width apart with your palms facing away from your body. Step 2. Remove the bar from the rack and step back. The bar should be resting in your hands right around your collarbone. Step 3. Now brace your abs, squeeze your butt, tilt your head back and drive the weight up towards the ceiling. Step 4. Once the bar passes your forehead, 
turn your head to neutral while completely straightening your arms overhead. Step 5. Your abs and glutes should remain engaged at the top of the movement. Make sure your lower back isn't bent. Step 6. Slowly lowers the bar down to your shoulders, tilting your head back to make room. You may also opt for a seated variation of this exercise, but I will always pick the standing overhead press any day because it activates the chest shoulders, arms, and upper back with a seated overhead press. There's no core activation, and only your shoulders and triceps are targeted bonus content hip thrust, while squats and deadlifts are two awesome lower body exercises that can help build a nice rear. The secret is actually in exercises that specifically target your gluten muscles. So, if you wish to strengthen your glutes or have a fuller butt or maybe improve your hip mobility, a weighted exercise that primarily activates your glutes such as a hip thrust is the key. It can help prevent lower back pain. By strengthening the muscles that support the lower back, you can use a variety of equipment when doing hip thrusts such as dumbbells, barbells, resistance bands, and more. In my case, I like the barbell variation the most. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.